Hi guys, Joe Wolverton, Teacher of Liberty here with another video. People text me, message me all the time and ask, Joe, what are we going to do about all the tyranny, all the, hey, we can't go to church. Hey, we can't go to uh, the store without wearing a mask. I can't get gas without a mask on. Um, hey, we are not allowed to have our restaurant open. I'm going bankrupt. Well, the thing I always tell people is this. Tyrants going to tyrant. Tyrants are forever going to be grasping for power because as human beings, it is our sad experience that when you give a man a little authority, he will take more and more and more of it. I mean, have you ever had a situation where you were in a class where Someone in the classroom is given a little authority by the teacher and that person becomes a full on tyrant. You know, I used to give an example in class. Someone said, you know, this teacher says, hey, uh, Noah, will you make sure everybody's writing in ink instead of pencil? Well, that's one. That's fine. But pretty soon Noah's going around saying, hey, you got to be writing in blue ink. And if the first person obeys and the second obeys and the third obeys, by the time he gets to the last kid in class, that last kid in class really believes that Noah had the authority to make him write with blue ink. When if you go back to the agreement, the original agreement, all I said was make sure they write with ink. That could be red, green, blue, any color, black. But you see what happens Anybody with even a little authority takes so much more. And that's how we are as humans. That's our sad experience. So Montesquieu, the Baron Montesquieu, one of the founding Founders Recipe All-Stars, he had a really good quote in his book, The Spirit of the Laws, about this. I wanted to read that to you and then point out kind of what we do about it. All right, you ready? Here we go. Political liberty is to be found only when there is no abuse of power. But constant experience shows us that every man who has power is inclined to abuse it. He goes until he finds limits. Well, what are the limits? When I ask that question, people always say, well, the Constitution, fair enough. It's supposed to be, there's supposed to be a certain uh, grant of power therein, and that should be a limit. But my man, little Jimmy, he said, it's just a piece of paper what he called a parchment barrier. A tyrant's going to tear through a piece of paper saying, hey, you don't have the authority to do that, or you only have the authority to do this. Yeah, a tyrant's not going to be stopped by a piece of paper. So what, what, is, what are the limits that can put a tyrant in his back inside his box? The people. There are 330 million Americans. There are 500 and 500, you know, fewer than 600, let's put it that way, because I'm trying to think of a round number to give you. There are fewer than 600 people in Congress and the President and the Supreme Court. But we do what they say. So, is it the tyrants that have forced us to a position where we can't go to church, where we have businesses shutting down because governors say, yeah, you can't open, that we can't go in a gas station to buy a soda without wearing a face diaper. Is that the tyrant's fault? No. The tyrant, all tyrants, all men with authority will go to they find limits. The limits is the people. The people we must realize our natural power. If we're doing these things, it's not because the tyrant told us to. That's what tyrants do. Tyrants get a tyrant. If we do these things, it's because we are willing to be obedient rather than to be free. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.